hey what's going on you know who it is you know what it is all right you guys you know uh it's time to do this video i've been meaning to do this video you know um as a lifelong raider fan i've been fucking with the raiders you know just pretty much for forever from when they was in oakland to when they moved to los angeles and from them moving back to oakland now possibly wanting to move back to los angeles you know, um, but here's one of the discussions that we have amongst Raider fans. You know, does Kenny Stabler and Jim Plunkett belong in the Hall of Fame? Or does one of them belong in the Hall of Fame out of the two quarterbacks I just named? You know, I'm a Raider fan, but I got to keep it 100. This is just the truth. Um, if I was to be completely honest and say, do I think either one of these men deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? I would have to say absolutely not. And I'll tell you why. Once again, I'm an honest Raider fan. Here's the thing with both Jim Plunkett and Kenny Stabler. Jim Plunkett was considered a bust. When he got drafted in 1971 by the Patriots, he failed miserably with the Patriots. <laughs> and then he went on to play for the 49ers, did not play well there. If I'm not mistaken, he got cut. He signed with the Raiders as a backup. Um, the starter got hurt. He took over, and he went on to be successful from there on. You know, I think he ended up winning. No, don't think he ended up winning two Super Bowls. But his overall career, he just wasn't that good. And here's his numbers to prove that he wasn't that good. Here's Jim Plunkett's final numbers. Touchdowns, 164. Interceptions, 198. Interceptions. Passing yards. 25,882. All right. Not exactly what you call stellar or solid. Now, I know he played the majority of his career in the 14 game, you know, per season era, but that doesn't mean anything. Now, here's, this, here's, here's the thing with Kenny Stabler. Kenny Stabler was a league MVP. Um, he played in the Super Bowl. He won one Super Bowl. But here's the problem. After he left the Raiders, I don't know if he was traded or he signed uh, via free agency. I think he was traded. Uh, he was disastrous with both New Orleans and and uh the Houston, um, the Houston Oilers. You know, case in being here's Kenny Stabler's uh, stats. Touchdowns, 194 touchdowns. Interceptions, 222. Passing yards, 27,938. Kenny Stabler just, like I said, he just fizzled out after he left the Raiders. And I'm one of them type of guys. I just don't think if you throw more interceptions than touchdowns, you should be in the Hall of Fame. You know, I kind of got a problem with Joe Namath being in the Hall of Fame because he threw more interceptions than he did touchdowns. So... I don't know why he's in there, I guess, because he guaranteed they would win a game. Maybe that's why. But if I had to say whether Jim Plunkett and Kenny Stabler belong in the NFL Hall of Fame, I would say no. Now, if he gets in, that'll be great. But do I think he should be in there? Nah, I got to keep it 100. Like I said, I'm a Raider fan, but I'm an honest Raider fan. So that's my take on this situation. I'm out.